We'll try them out, baby. Better not. Oh, my nails are too long almost for this. Let's add some sparkle and shine. In. Hey, you guys, what is up? What's happening? What is going on? As you can tell, I am in my car. I am in front of Walgreens, if you can see that. And I am here because I want to try to find the new Milani X Trend Mood collab display that they have at Walgreens, allegedly. And um, nothing in the line is supposed to be new not the line the nothing in the display is supposed to be new which was kind of a cool concept at first i was a little bit shocked that they didn't come out with like a collab palette or anything but the way they explained it was they wanted to bring things that weren't as easily accessible before to Walgreens and other drugstores from the Milani line, which I think is really cool. And then they did come out though with like a custom kit. So I'm gonna try to find the kit because it's I think the Gilded Desires palette, which is an eye and face kit. And then it's supposed to come with an eye primer. And the price point is really nice. I think it's around 14 to $15 and it's originally $20 without the eye primer. So a lot of you guys have told me to try that palette and I, I was looking at it. I was debating it for a couple days and I was like, you know what? It's really cute. It's really pretty. It looks really fall. It looks really beautiful. And I want to try to find it. So I brought you guys along with me to kind of hunt it down to see if it's out. It's not quite September yet. It's the end of August, but I have seen some people be able to find it already. So we're going to, we're going to pop in there really quickly. We're going to find that. We're going to check it all out. We can find it. Of course, I'll be doing a little eye tutorial using it and seeing if it's worth the, the hype and everything. And I think there's a highlighter included too. So we'll do that. But basically we'll test it all out. By the way, uh, before we begin, if you don't know who I am and if you're like hey what's up what's going on who is this lady I'm Ashley with AHM Artistry I run a beauty YouTube channel over here on the tube and you can consider at any point subscribing if you'd like if you want to keep watching and wait to figure out if you want to keep seeing videos from me I get it I understand but if you already want to then go ahead and do that too but enough jibber jabbing enough about that I'm gonna do the little intro and then you're gonna shop with me and hopefully we can find what we need and then we can slap some makeup on this face right here okay so if that all sounds gonna dandy to you guys if you want to see all that then you know what to do sit back hang tight and keep on watching <laughs> she is hey girl oh my gosh so excited for you oh my goodness sophie oh there and there's the palette right there so we'll try out that and these are everything else that's in the little display so things that are a little bit harder to find all the colors these are really really good Ooh, i've never tried these lippies before i need to grab one of those Sleep sprays and all the brow stuff okay so let's grab one of these and we will try it out baby Ooh, a little fall collection from Milani. Look at these shades. Got some blacks and some deep maroons. That's pretty cool. Oh, these are metallics. Oh, <laughs> little bonus. Anyways, back to what we need to be doing. All right, you guys, we are back in the studio, ready to film a little eye look with this Milani X Trend Mood Gilded Desires palette that also comes with the eyeshadow primer. So I lucked out and found it right away at the first store I went to, as you saw. And I picked up a couple things while I was there because I had a coupon for Walgreens for it was like $4 off of 20. So if you don't have the Walgreens app, you should get the Walgreens app and sign up for like deals and stuff because I always kind of like build up points almost like Ulta and then you can get dollars off. But this one was just like a straight up coupon. I didn't have to work for it or spend for it. And I picked up a NYX suede matte lip liner and it's like a crazy purple and it's gonna go really well with that CoverGirl lipstick that I reviewed last week. Not reviewed, but like wore, kind of reviewed. Anyways, I needed a purple lip liner and <laughs> there it was, helped me get to my $20 and basically I got this for free and I even went in the little toy section and got a little Tsum Tsum set for my daughter that was on heavy discount like $1.50 for a whole little Tsum Tsum set and I saved that for Christmas because I am a bit of a hoarder when it comes to things like that if I see a good deal I'm like okay I'm gonna hoard it for Christmas anyways that is very very sidetracked back to Milani trend mood. Some quick details, by the way, is I already kind of talked about it in the car, but this is a special edition set for Walgreens with trend mood, and it's the Milani Gilded Desires face and eye palette. The face part is two highlighters. This palette by itself launched last year for $20. This whole set that comes with the same palette and your eyeshadow primer only retails for $14.99. So it's five bucks off the original price, and you get the primer, which the primer is normally $6.99. So that's a great 
great value. I gotta be completely honest. I actually saw this palette in Ulta last year when it launched and I was looking at it and I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is drugstore. This looks gorgeous. This looks amazing. And then I saw the $20 price point and I was like, mm. Better not, better not. I didn't grab it because of the price point, but $14.99 to me and including the eyeshadow primer, I'm like, yes, that is great. That is brilliant. Milani has great products and it, it's hard. I know people think of Milani as kind of like a in between drugstore price points. So I don't want to knock that they are what they are, but when it starts getting in the $20 range for drugstore eyeshadow palettes, I really have to step back and think about it. But for 15, I just feel, I feel like it's more justified. And you get 12 shades in here. I don't know, let's let's open it instead of just guessing. Yeah, it says on the package, 12 eyeshadows and two highlighters. So that is a lot. And if they perform well, then it's also worth the price point. So let me tear into this. I need some scissors. Oh, and it has Sophie's picture on the back from Trend Mood. If you don't know who Trend Mood is, let me tell you. I had to go out and like support this girl because I get all my beauty launch information for from her, you guys. If I know of something that's coming out most of the time, it's because she announced it. So she has an Instagram and she is always opening up the PR packages that she gets and letting us know what's new, letting us know from the brands like what's new and up and coming. And that's how I can do my research and try to figure out what I wanna be reviewing for you guys, what I wanna find out and all of that jam. And congratulations, girl, that is awesome. I talked about in the car how it was really cool that she is just bringing Bringing, you know, collabed with Milani to bring out products that you guys just might not be able to easily access. Maybe you can only get it on Milani's site and it's a little bit easier now at the Walgreens stand. And there was lots of cool lippy shades there that I saw too. I almost got some fall ones, but I'm gonna wait. Maybe I'll do like a fall haul for like all the new fall stuff. Cause there's a lot of brands I saw that had like one or two pieces in their lines, not like a full fall line, which I kind of like. I don't feel like we really need like a whole, I'm going off, I am tangent city today. But let me just finish that thought. I feel like we don't always need a whole giant themed thing with 30 SKUs. Sometimes it might be nice to just add like a few SKUs within the line and then be really, really, really good products that we can like and enjoy and just incorporate into our routine, you know? But I don't know, teach their own, depends on the launch, depends what we're excited about and everything like that. But anyways, let me shut up now. Oh my gosh, and open this up. Yes, beautiful, beautiful packaging. So I reviewed the Gilded, ooh, not Rouge, the other one, Gilded Noir palette, and I was surprised by that packaging being cardboard. It's better for the environment, yes, but this one, the Gilded Desires, does definitely have a more luxurious, luxurious feel. It's more of like a metal casing, and that is just beautiful. So that's kind of where I felt like the $20 price point went into you know, consideration was the packaging it feels like a high end packaging. It's not like super heavy. It's still lightweight, easy to carry, but that's kind of where it felt like, but the pan sizes are quite big. They're the same as the Gilded Noir, but the Gilded Noir palette was $20 as well, which was a little shocking, but you have a few more shades, I think to choose from in that anyway. So yeah, 12 shades, very fall theme, very beautiful. And then two highlighters on the bottom. So I'll throw up some swatches really quickly because that kind of helps me decide what kind of eye look that I want to do. And then we will go from there. We'll slap this on. I think for my eye primer, since it came with it, I do want to test this out, but sometimes eye primers can kind of mess with it and it's not really what I'm used to. Let's take a little look at it and see. It has a slight, slight tan. It's almost the consistency of the Urban Decay Shadow Insurance, but a little more of a nude tint. Yeah, very similar to that. So I, on one eye, I will use the Milani one and we can see if it's worth it for $6.99 by itself. That's a good price. And the other side, I will use my Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer and we'll see if it makes a difference because if it doesn't, there we go. All right, so moving on to the eye look, I'm kind of feeling like a fall smoky eye vibe with a little pop of some shimmer in there. So let's do that. I'm really excited. Now I primed my eyes already. I did the Milani one on this side and then the Anastasia on this side. Obviously this one's gonna have more canceling out effect and I was able to carve up my brows a little bit. This one I just had to apply with my finger. The brush, it wasn't even like doing anything. So just going with your finger, no carving out, nothing like that, just a simple eye primer. Okay, let me go ahead and just set my under brow area with one of the base shades. I'm gonna go in with this yellowy kind of one right there. Oh, they do have, they also have shade names on the back. So that one is called Naked Truth. I'm gonna go right in with this sh black shade called Black Tie Affair right here. And I'm gonna do it on this little tiny packing brush. And I'm gonna go in on my corners here. And ooh, that has some good payoff right from the beginning. Hello. Oh yeah. 
I'm going right um, a little bit above the crease, but like barely, and then kind of uh, edging it out a little bit over here. Now I do see a difference already in the primers personally. This one, the Anastasia side is a bit richer than this one, which some people don't really want that color intensity anyway, so it would be fine to do this eye primer, but you do, if you do want that intensity, you know, using any kind of primers that will white out or like even neutralize your base will help to get it to pop. And some of them help to stick the shadows on a little bit better too in the pigments. So now I'm gonna go in with this very little, not very little, like medium size blending brush. This is BH Cosmetics, this is the number six brush. And I'm gonna start softening the edge up here, not dipping yet, just blending right now. Okay, now I'm gonna do a tiny dip into the black and tap off so I don't get too much and start bringing it over a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this maroon shade, which in my opinion, on the pictures I saw of everything, and it might've been the old palette, and I don't know if there are any differences, I don't think that there are, but in the old pictures of the palette that I saw, this shade looked more red, like red red, but that's okay. It's still beautiful. If I wanna make it a little bit more red, I will add some of that shimmer there on the bottom. And I'm gonna take it right up here and kind of make it like a blown out blackish red. Little tiny strokes. And I'm using the same brush, by the way. I just cleaned it off. And I'm gonna bring it all the way over here. All right, that probably looks crazy to some of you, but do not worry because everything always comes together, especially when you have lashes and everything and it's more balanced. So let's add some sparkle and shine into, the, uh, into my life, into my eye. I want to do the gold. I think that would look really cool. And then maybe, you know, on the outer edge, this one, maybe, I don't know. But this bronze is really beautiful too. This color, by the way, you guys saw the swatch of it, but it's shifty and it's beautiful. This would look awesome, but I want it to be more fall vibes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's try doing it without, you know, cutting a crease or a primer or anything. I don't know how it will work, but that's what we're here to find out, right? So, so this is the shade Desire for Gold. And let's pop that right in here. Oh yeah, it's coming off on a brush. It's a little bit softer. It's like not as intense, which is kind of what I was expecting. But we will layer with our finger. Let's just even out both sides. So it kind of has like a base. And then now let's go in with a finger. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. much more better for sure. And then I wanna kinda soften this edge, so I'm just gonna gently tap that right there. But that's not even cutting a crease or laying anything down. So there we go, oh, I'm excited, that's beautiful. I'm okay with the edges being a little bit softened here and blown out, not so like, you know, cut. Obviously why I didn't do a cut crease. Also to see with the performance without having to do that. That's sometimes nice, not sometimes. It is nice to have the option to not have to lay down like a concealer or another layer of primer, you know? <sighs> Easy. Easy. Now, actually, let's try, let's try this one. Let's do it. This one is called Champagne Wasted. Oh, that's cute. Did she rename these, I wonder? I don't think so. I doubt it. I'm gonna go in with my brush just to get a little bit of a better angle in there. Then we'll go in with my finger in a sec and just kind of blend that out. Oh, my nails are too long almost for this. I have to take this little nail that got broken. Uh, oh, that's what's hard about having to do ones with your finger is you can't really, I'll have to clean that up. You can't really like get in the nooks and crannies as easy, but it's okay because I want a little inner corner highlight. <laughs> I meant to do that. How do people with long nails do this? Because I have them finally and it is difficult. Oh, but that looks so cool. Okay, that looks really cool. Woohoo! Now I'm gonna take this and just make sure that the two shades are blended and there's like a little bit of a difference. Probably hard to see on camera, but I can see it in person. Total fall vibes. A good transition into fall. It's not like pumpkin, it's not like orange, it's not in your face. It's just soft and pretty and smoky and I like it. 
I like it a lot. Little bit of a lower lash line. I think I'm just gonna go in with the maroon only. Let's see, let's try that. Okay, cool. So let me go do my whole face minus the highlighter because we have highlighter try out. And I'm also gonna show you what this looks like with just mascara without lashes because I know a lot of you guys don't wear lashes and sometimes you wanna see what the look like looks like without lashes. So I'm gonna do that. I'll throw on some lashes, we'll pop on some highlighter, and then I'll tell you my thoughts, first impressions, blendability, pigmentation, all that stuff that I feel about this palette. So be back in a jiffy jab. All right, here is the whole look, minus highlighter, minus lashes, just so you have a little reference. I think it looks really, really pretty even without lashes, but just for the sake of just being extra, I'm gonna go pop on some lashes really quickly and then we're gonna do some highlighter because that is what is missing in my life right, right now. Be right back. All right, and this is with lashes. And let me tell you, I almost had to give up on the whole thing, not the whole thing, but on the lashes, because I could not find my lash glue anywhere. And I even busted out this little Eyelore glue, which is completely useless and worthless because I could not get the glue out of the container. So uh, I almost gave up and then I looked over to the side and it was sitting in like a PR box that I have over there. Oh my gosh. But anyways, um, <laughs> this is what it looks like. So there you go. Let's pop on some highlighter really quick. I'm gonna mix these two shades because this one I think will be better for fair skin or maybe even like a little corner. I might pop it in a little corner. And then this one I think would be better for more medium to deep skin tone. So I'm gonna mix the two because I'm like a light to light medium skin tone range. And I think that would be really pretty. So let's do that. Ooh, yeah, that is gorgeous together. And head on, I can't see any weird casts or anything. So mixing them together made this one that's more icy, a little more like yellowy golden. I really like that mixture. I think that's really pretty. So if you ever get a, you know, a highlighter palette or something and you're just like, mm, neither of these are really gonna work for me. One's too light, one's too dark. Think about mixing them. And then that kind of goes for all the shades. I mix my highlighters all the time because I think it just gives a cool little shifty shift and I can dig this. This is really, really gorgeous. Love that, love that. Pop some on the nose, boop, boop, boop. and right up here. Let's mix a little bit of that highlighter too on my finger. And just pop it on the center of my lips. Ooh, gave okay, it's really pretty glow. That's nice, ooh, really pretty. Love that, and then like I said, let's take a little bit onto this little eye brush of the white no, let's mix it. Let's do both. And I pop it on the inner corner just to kind of amp it up a little bit. Okay, that is gorgeous. So this is the whole look, you guys. That highlighter, I am just looking at myself in the monitor, being all vain and stuff, because that is really, really pretty. But this eye look too, I'm loving it. I think it came out together, came out together. I don't know what that means. I think it came together really nicely, really pretty. Overall, like the blendability was super, super easy for this one. The pigmentation, the color payoff, everything was really gorgeous. I, like I said, I think that the metallic glittery shades do perform better with a finger. I actually like this palette a lot better personally than the Gilded, Gilded Noir that I reviewed a couple months ago. I think that this one performs a little bit better than that one in my experience. Those ones are more of like cool tones, blues and greens and stuff. So I had a little bit of trouble with those ones. But this one, this one did beautifully. Obviously highlighter gorgeous. I'm loving it. I love the price point. I love the whole thing. Congratulations to Sophia Treadmood and Milani and everything like that because this is beautiful. Eye primer, I don't honestly see a difference anymore from the sides at all. I actually thought that everything started looking really good. I started feeling like the red pigmentation was actually better on this side. Then I went back and layered a little bit more there and then it was more even. So I don't think the primer really made a difference in this case, except maybe the brow bone is a little more popping on that side than that side. But like, you could just carve out with your concealer if you want and you can totally get away with this eye primer. I think it was actually pretty good. Unless for some reason it starts creasing and rolling and getting weird on me, I see no difference. If it does do that, I will update in this video. If it doesn't do that, then obviously it wasn't a problem. I don't see it being a problem. It's already been on for like 45 minutes because I was seriously hunting for that lash glue. Seriously. 
I found it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm liking that. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the description box. Do you have this palette? Do you love it? What are your thoughts? What do you think? Cause I know it's been around for a year and I am like late to the game here, baby. But all right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sitting down and joining me in this little try on tutorial shopping thingamajig. If you do like this palette, definitely head over to Walgreens and check it out before it's gone. I'm not sure how long it will last, but I like the price point a lot better than it was last year. And I think that it performed really beautifully as we just discussed and I'm talking about it again. But anyways, if you are new here and you stumbled upon my face for the first time, this is the first video of mine that you have seen. Well, I would love it if you would consider going down and hitting that little red subscribe button down below. That way you get notified when I post new videos, which is about roughly three times a week. And I would love to have you a part of my little fam bam, but that is it for today, you guys. Thank you guys so much again for stopping by and checking out this video. And I hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you guys have a great freaking awesome, wonderful, happy, lovely day. No, do, 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 do. I should look it up. A little bit of tangentness. Lots of tangents today. Lots and lots of tangents. That's where that's where my head's at right now. I'm still standing out of ever been. I don't really know the words very well. Hello, that's vamos. Vamos, not so much. Ugh, my nails are, oh, my nails are too long almost. Seriously, like half the video I have to edit out is me looking for something and it's usually a brush. And it's always ends up being right in front of my face. Looking like a chihuahua, looking like a little kid. You guys want to know a secret? Some of you guys might know, but I am pregnant and um, I'm like beginning of my second trimester right now. So I have some maternity clothes, but not a lot. And I wanted something that would kind of go with my theme today. So I grabbed this long sleeve crop top and this is where it goes to. This is my tummy. This is my maternity shorts that have like a little belly on it. And that's my secret. <laughs> And I'm sticking to it. P.S. Since you've stuck around this far, I'll let you know that really soon I'm having a like maternity video, like haul, pregnancy clothing haul thing, like of things that I've bought so far in my early pregnancy. And a lot of pieces work for non-pregnancy bodies too. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys then. Bye.